What is going on everybody? Logan here for another video and today we are talking about the Tiger Woods crash. Now that all the details have been released, uh, the LA County Sheriff came out, um, gave the whole description of the crash. From the car's computer you can see you know, how much he was accelerating, how fast he was going, uh, how much he pushed down the brake pedal, all that kind of stuff. But going back to the date of the crash on February 23rd, uh, pretty much Tiger Woods was just driving in LA County, uh, ran off the road, uh, he went to the hospital, police were called, all that kind of stuff. Uh, fell down a little ravine um, and he had some pretty serious injuries. Now the LA County Sheriff uh, yesterday he came out saying that uh, there was no toxicology, do or toxicology done. Um, there were, were no tickets involved uh, because Tiger Woods didn't seem to be impaired at the scene uh, and then at the subsequent interviews at the hospital same thing. Uh, Tiger Woods team was very cooperative um, so that's one thing. Um, now when they looked at the onboard computers um, which uh, this is where it gets kind of weird. Tiger Woods accelerator was pushed down 99%. I mean, he left the road going, I think like 85 or 88 miles an hour, and then he struck a tree going 75 miles an hour. And for anyone who's driven on the highway, especially here in Houston, uh, I mean, 88 miles an hour, I mean, you have to be, go you, you know you're going that fast. And going around curves and stuff, I mean, that's just crazy fast. And then on top of that, hitting a tree going 75 miles an hour, I mean, it's a miracle he's alive. Uh, it's good that he's recovering. I believe the Masters is going on right now. Um, but that's great that Tiger Woods survived this. Uh, you know, there were people who found the car. They called 911. Uh, he was extracted from the vehicle and then taken immediately to the hospital. So he's recovering. Um, but where we put on our tinfoil hats is, don't y'all think it's kind of weird that the accelerator's pushed down 99%, 0% braking? Uh, I mean, he didn't push the brake at all. Now, the sheriff, he came out and said that, oh, there's probably just, um, he mistakenly pushed the accelerator for the brake. Um, I think that's kind of weird, and I think it's kind of weird that he was even going 88 miles an hour on a curvy road like that. Um, they said that he was just going too fast, misinterpreted the curve of the road, ran off the road, and that's how the entire crash happened. But, and like I said, pull those tenfold hats down hard. What if he was just Kevin Harted? Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Kevin Hart, what, two years ago, he ran off the road uh, in his Cuda. That was a beautiful car, Hellcat-powered Cuda. Um, and then some people, they say that Kevin Hart was taken from there, cloned, and then this new Kevin Hart we have isn't Kevin Hart. It's a weird theory. But what if Tiger Woods, what if the big people up top decided that Tiger Woods wasn't playing game and they decided to replace him. What if they took control of his car, pressed the accelerator down all the way, and just ran him off the side of the road and somehow he survived? I mean, honestly, that's crazy. I mean, imagine going 75 miles an hour, hitting a tree, going off the road. To me, that's insane. Um, but it's worth a thought. I mean, of course, it most likely didn't happen. But it's just a thought-provoking thing. Uh, but that is all the details we know. He ran off the road going 88 miles an hour, hit a tree going 75. Uh, he, he showed no sign of impairment, um, and he's recovering now. Uh, so really, that's all we know. Now, one thing that you might be thinking is, you know, why would they? Why would the police come out and... Um, you know, say all this, you know, this is just a crash, you know, if me or you were to have gotten to a crash, they aren't going to hold a big press briefing up over it, and it's confidential information. Well, Tiger Woods' team, they came out and they said, yeah, I mean, since it was just speed that um, that was the cause of this crash, yeah, let's go ahead and let everybody know, uh, you know, when the court of public opinion, um, so that's why, you know, they came out and said everything involved with this crash. But guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I kind of got there in the tinfoil hat conspiracy theory land, but it's cool just to think, you know, what if. But one more thing, sorry for the slowdown of the videos, uh, but my first daughter, uh, actually my first child, was just born last week, uh, Briseis Reed. So, um, it's definitely different being a dad, and, you know, everything just is, you know, revolving all around her. Um, so, I will be posting some more videos now that things are finally uh, slowing down a little bit, you know, now that I'm back home. Getting assimilated with having a little baby around the house, uh, you know, things are getting back to normal, but there will be a normal flow of videos from here on out. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.